welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Hello, everybody. It's 2020. We are in the future. We're in the future. We got black spacemen. That's right, black spacemen. But I just don't understand, and I'm sick and tired of this. The first, the first. Read it, read it. Glover, Victor Glover will be the first black crew member on Space Station. Why every time black people go somewhere, we have to be the first, the first. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Black people can go to outer space. We can drink from the white people water fountain. We can get on the bus and sit in the front. And it's always the first. The first. So I don't I don't know. Is the space station, is it like Augusta Golf Course that wouldn't let black people get in to 1990? What what's the deal on this space station? But anyhow, when I heard the first black, that just burnt me up. I'm tired of hearing all my life. I got to hear the first black, the first black. Been here for hundreds of years, pay taxes, love America. But every time we want to do something, somebody holding us back. Somebody closed the door in our face. Black people and brown people. Oh, I want to do this. You can't do it. I ain't going to let you. You can't come in. You can't do this. For a hundred years, we've been doing everything. Paying taxes, fighting to vote, doing everything. Imagine what we could have done if we wasn't under this constant racist pressure. We've we done everything. we done everything. If we wasn't under this pressure, America, man, America be in the future. We'll, we'll, have a, we'll be on Star Trek. Where you going uh, to, the, to the moon? No, we're going to Mars, all of that. We let, all, we let the black people uh, figure it out. We let them try it out because we've been holding them back. I let, I let them come in and, you know, work with me on the project. And they figured it out, took it over and went to, the, to outer space. So I just want to tell everybody out there. When you hear the first black, the first black. Don't get excited because we've been here. We've been participating. We've been showing out. We've been building. We've been we done ran America. We done built America. And we got to sit up here and hear this garbage talking about the first black person, the first black person. Now, I want you to stick to your guns. You can do whatever you want to do. You, you young people out there, you can do whatever you want to do. The only thing holding you back is a racist. That's the only thing holding you back, a racist. And you got to push them out the way. The first black man on the space station. The first black. That made me sick when I heard that. I said, we've been going to space for 20, 30 years. But, But he, the first black. And they had, look, he got his hands out like, what y'all want me to say? They wanted him to give a big ass speech to explain how he feel that he going into outer space. They say, well, give a big speech and you're supposed to be happy. I'm just going to space station. No, no, no. You're the first black person. So I don't, maybe it's something they don't want to tell us. 
the space station, they should change the name of International Space Station to Augusta Golf Course Number Two. And then, oh, we'll finally let a black person in. You know, we ain't we white folks can't have nothing. So I don't, I don't care, man. I'm tired. You can blow that motherfucker up, burn. It. What y'all, what is y'all doing up there? They never say what they doing anyway. They're making anthrax and shit. So anytime you hear somebody run up to you, you the first black. You the first, yeah, yeah. I, I got the. I kicked the door open because the guy closed the door. I pick. I, I they threw my resume in the garbage. So I sent them three resumes and it got through. The first. I'm the first black person. You have they, people always holding people back. Now when you around these races you have to stay on your toes i like i like to play with races when i see them i like to play with them you you'll get a nice job a nice position and the first thing that's going to happen a racist coworker is going to run up to your face and say how did you get this job how did you pass the test that's what they're they gonna say. How did you pass the test? That's how you know they're racist. Because their granddaddy then told them black and brown people can't read and can't count and they eat watermelon. And when you you know it's a real racist, they'll say, How did you pass the test? How'd you get a job here? Then when you tell them, Oh, I just, you know, it was real easy. Then they'll just run away and start screaming and crying. And they, I, it took me three years to pass the test. You son of a bitch. And they'll just start screaming and yelling, losing their mind. My granddaddy lied to me. My granddaddy lied to me. My whole world is crashing. But that's it. That's it. All our life. I'm sick of the first black. You hear the first black. Because racism, they keep closing the door. Every time we do something, they close the door, steal our idea from us, steal a patent from us, close the door, throw an application in the garbage. I don't want, I don't want no black guys in here. Get out of here. Who's, whose patent is this on how to make whiskey? Don't worry about it. He a slave. He, he, he taught me how to make whiskey. Don't worry about it. So I'm proud that Victor got his dream. He get, he in space. I'm proud, but like I said, when you hear these news reporters talking about uh, he the first black person to do something, how does that make you feel? That they that's really a joke. Cause it, it, he we we could have did it a hundred years ago if he wasn't. Uh, so damn racist. We could have did this a hundred years ago. We could be on the next chapter. We could be doing something else. You keep holding us back. And when you see somebody trying to hold you back and slow you down, get them out of your life. They could be black or white. Get them out of your damn face, man. Kick them, kick them to the curb.